What exactly happens if you take a graphics card and you freeze it in ice and then plug it into your computer? In today's video, we're going to find out just that. On top of that, we've got a couple other components that we're going to try. I've got a RAM stick. We're making ice coolers pretty much. So instead of having your heat sinks and uh, coolers and things like that, uh, we're going to use uh, ice. So I've got a couple components picked out, mostly e-waste as it is, and uh, we're going to be just dipping them in some water, freezing them, and then plugging them into the computer and seeing what happens. I thought a lot about how to freeze these because if you put it like in a suspend it in like a vat of water and you freeze it, A, you're gonna have like a huge block, which is not feasible because when you plug in the RAM, uh, that's way too much weight and that might actually like end up snapping the RAM. So instead, I thought it would be interesting to go through and put it like in a, a bag, like a bag of water and then just have it um, kind of sit there and then make funky coolers with it. Now, in order to test this, it's gonna be quite an interesting setup. So we know that the pins, we need access to those to verify that this works or probably doesn't work. Uh, I'm thinking we'll probably put leave the pins exposed. Same thing goes for the graphics card. And uh, I'm also gonna leave the cooler on the graphics card. It would be a really stupid test if we just left, took, took it off and had the silicon exposed because the silicon would get hot instantly. Uh, you might get about five seconds of time. So I've got the infrared camera, in this case the Doogie Doji uh, S98 Pro. We'll be using that to see the hard drive heat up. We've got everything set up in our system here. You should be able to see it from the top view down. I'm going to take out the hard drive now, uh, out of the freezer, put it down here, turn on the system, and uh, see how long it takes for likely the system to shut off. Uh, I think the drive will probably sound really nice as well. Um, let's take it out and plug it in. Let's see if I can get the bag out. It's going to make a whole lot of mess all over my table. Let's uh, plug it in. This is Bad Ideas 101, guys. Don't try this at home. With a brick of ice attached to it. Already getting some condensation, too. Let's see. I guess your PC isn't ice cooled, guys. Also, probably no surprise here, but the drive um, is not recognized. I am surprised it's not shorting out. The screw holes are the most hottest on the back. Um, they look about like, what is it, 29 degrees Celsius, which is room temperature already. Given what I've just seen, uh, what happens when you freeze your hard drive? Well, um, it does not boot at all, which is kind of expected. I'm really curious about the graphics card though, whether or not we'll get anything. Because the graphics card technically does not have, I mean, besides the fan, any moving parts. Next up, we have the mystical RAM stick. I'm very proud of the cooler on this bad boy. Uh, Ziploc bags was definitely the way to go. This still makes me uncomfortable. Let's do this. Just in case you guys want to see, it's in there. How to tear up hardware 101. It's turned on. We will get the beeps. It did. It posted. Okay, I'm turning this off. So interestingly enough, right around where the dims are, um, it melted through. So it melted around the dims. Like... It, 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 it eroded away from the dims first, which makes sense because the dims are one of the hottest things uh, that are is visible, you know, hottest things on the RAM bin. Um, I'm surprised with how well that actually worked though, but it definitely got out of that quick, which makes me curious because it was definitely submerged and I don't know how it posted. So this worked. I was surprised. Ice cooler for RAM works. So um, next up, we'll try the CPU. And then the GPU. Okay, so this one was really weird. This is the CPU. This was like a standard Xeon. So it's got like gunk all around it. And the best way I'd describe it is it looks like the freezing process pushed some of the something out of the board. Could be thermal paste. But given that the contacts are also coated in, I find it highly unlikely it's going to post. So I'm going to install it real quick. And hopefully it's not like just a big pool of water by the time I get back. OK, 
Okay, let's see if the uh, buddy CPU is going to work. Absolutely nothing. So the frozen CPU is not working. Um, I guess the next thing to try would be C. We've done RAM, so then GPU. Let's try the GPU. So this one's going to be the most difficult because this is the graphics card. Okay, we're recording. Let's do this. Which is ice everywhere. Oh my gosh, I cannot see this working. It's a two wide card, everybody. One bad boy. It's in. Oh, but the plug is blocked. I don't know if I have an adapter. Oh, but the plug is blocked. All the plugs are blocked. Okay, I guess we have no choice but the post. No screen record. No nothing. Plug it in. And watch it heat up. Oh, it's definitely heating up. Oh, there's water on the motherboard. I think the motherboard's done. I think the motherboard's done, guys. Round two, I need to make sure that, oh boy, I don't um, get water in the ports. Yeah, I think in the future if we try something like this, we've got to go through and um, somehow get this to stay cooler longer because I think the water is what got to it. I think in theory, the PC parts, I mean minus the hard drive, of course, uh, should be working uh, even in like freezing temperatures, especially with ice on them. I'm surprised that the RAM actually like worked. Um, that was the most surprising of everything. I think the RAM, especially with all those small connections, would have gotten hot and like toasted itself. I think the motherboard toasted itself too, so. Uh, oh well, make sure you guys subscribe if you wanna see other stupid, weird stuff. And um, yeah, we'll be shot in free as a phone soon. So yeah, make sure you subscribe. See y'all later, adios.